Hello and welcome to Marco Syntar. Today I want to show you an iPad synth. I really enjoy it. This is what it looks like and it's called Synth by Van. It's on App Store and it's for free. It's made by a guy called Johannes Van. I would guess he's Swedish. Sounds like it, judging by the name. And this is what it sounds like. So this is a spiral. Continuous. Synthesizer. It's very cool. So the sound is very raw in this, as you can hear. But there is another sound setting too, the fancy sound setting. More of a sine wave or filter down, maybe, wave. Let's stay with the raw sound for the time being. On this synthesizer, the notes are not indicated in any way on the display. Well, you have the colors, which can give you some guidance maybe, but Really, you, you never know what key you're in unless you have perfect pitch and you have to rely on your ears. That's the only thing you have to work the synth. You just need to use your ears and that is why I like it a lot. Let's try and take a chord because chords is the thing with this, I think. Harmonies sound like they never have sounded before to me. A random note. Let's find the fifth. That's a clean fifth, I would say. There we have it. And uh, let's find a major third. Oh, I'm losing it. There it is. Very nice. To me, that sounds like a clean and nice major chord. Somewhere around the key of B. Okay, let's try something else. Let's try and find a minor chord. You easily get lost, but I think there was some kind of a minor chord. Now, why would you want to use a synth which gives you no control and has a weird sound and looks pretty ugly? Well, the reason why I like this synthesizer is because it opens up a new world of harmony. I could take a major chord in one key 50 times in a row and it wouldn't sound exactly the same because this synthesizer is very responsive to where you put your fingers. In this video I'm gonna compare this synthesizer to the old school piano. I think that's a very good way to show the perks of this uh, little thing. I got my little keyboard here and I can play a lot of fancy chords with these notes right here. And I could keep playing on this thing my whole life, but I would never know what's between these notes. Because these notes are fixed. And on a continuous synthesizer, they are not. And on a continuous synthesizer, which gives me the worst control ever, anything can happen. And that's very stimulating to me. Okay, here's a philosophical question. On this piano, the difference between major and minor is uh, very clear. It's either major or minor. But if you glide, if you glide from the minor to the major third, we're on this journey. You saw my thumb, it made a little journey here from minor to major. Where does it pass the border? Where is the limit with, between major and minor? That's the kind of philosophical question that rises when you use a continuous synthesizer. And uh, well, there's no answer to this question, but maybe if I keep on playing with this thing, I can come up with some kind of solution. I just find it very exciting to use. I'm gonna leave you now with a little jam I made for January. It's very short, about a minute, but it gives you some idea of uh, what you can do with this thing. And I also promise to put up more videos with this thing. So take care everyone. And I'll see you.